Time now to check in with Kasha Badurka to see how our weather is shaping up. And it has been a beautiful day, but a windy one. So yeah. what are we looking at? I'm just kind of chilly looking at it. <laughs> <laughs> looking at the winds, you can see the white caps there uh, from the Wall Center Hotel Tower Cam. Barely a cloud in the sky. You can see a little bit low-level cloud over the mountains. Uh, but the winds, that's the greater weather feature that we're really focusing on today. It's all courtesy of the cold front that brought us the precipitation yesterday. 52K wind gusts in the past hour. Hour, and we're going to start to notice the winds easing into the afternoon. Here's your forecast across the lower mainland. I put the raindrops in, but you know what? It's it's a very low chance of precipitation at this point. Uh, here we have a sun cloud mix also over Vancouver Island, but some of us still had snow earlier this morning over Vancouver Island. A hi to you, Ken, in Port Alice, who showed me that snow coming down. And was it ever coming down over the Coke Summit? Uh, we still do have an additional five, possibly 10 centimeters of snow over that major route. Other major higher elevation highways, much lower amounts, two to four centimeters of snow. But actually, I want to correct myself because it looks like the Paulson Summit to Kootenai Pass will be heavier amounts now. It looks like there's just a little bit more moisture, a little bit more upper level instability to produce snow. And snow is what we had over Prince Rupert last night. Vincent took this video, all the action happening. And Cheryl Pavola took, the, uh, took out the ruler measurements three centimeters of snow on the ground this morning and boy there was a lot of shoveling for others though there was more than three centimeters in some places it is zero right now in prince george eight in vancouver i believe it's cowichan lake area that's the warmest spot right now in the province at over nine degrees and the cold spot fort nelson at minus 10. All right, your future radar as we see the weather story unfold, still a little bit of instability and behind that cold front. So we do have the flurries through uh, eastern sections of the province for this afternoon and a little bit of upper level moisture too this evening over the north coast. It wouldn't rule out another flurry or so, but then we are clearing out and a lot of us will be looking up to sunny skies over the next several days and temperatures on the rise. So by your Tuesday, a lot of us will be back to seasonal as far as temperatures go. And then by Thursday, a lot of us will be way above seasonal. Uh, but for today, let's talk about today. Periods of light snow ending this afternoon for the BC Peace. Then you're going to be clearing out. We'll also have a sun cloud mix eventually in Whitehorse. Temperatures, look at that, minus 10. We're usually at 6. So really well below seasonal. 5 degrees for you in the north coast. We still had some flurries this morning and not ruling out the possibility of some flurries or showers this afternoon. We've got uh, light snow snow ending this afternoon, then clearing also for the central interior. 11 is where we're usually at. Today's only a three degree weather day. Mostly cloudy skies for you in the Columbia and the Kootenai region. A very slight chance of an isolated shower or flurry over here. Um, we're looking up to fair weather skies in the Thompson Okanagan. It's windy over here. You'll notice that windy right across the province. Whistler Village, five degrees, nine in Pemberton. And most of us clearing out over Vancouver Island, especially around the the perimeter of the island. It's a gusty one, that's for sure. 11 in the capital, and here's your long range from Metro Vancouver looking amazing if you like warm temperatures and a lot of sunshine. I sure hope these folks celebrating special birthdays enjoy the sun. Marie Foster of Langley turned 100 yesterday. All the very best to you, Ms. Foster, and today Mary Murray Morrison, love the name, of Vancouver is celebrating 100 years today. Congratulations. Absolutely. Congrats. Thanks so much, Kasha.